Hey everybody, I got a mess on the table, but I'm not going to wipe it up because I want it to dry. It will make some beautiful jewelry, so I'm going to pour right over it. Um, I'm using all deco art colors. I've got Extreme Sheen Copper Rich Espresso Vintage Brass The Dioxazine Purple Lamp Black True Blue Peacock Teal I got just a little bit left in the cup of quinacridone violet. Then I have a lighter gold, glorious gold. Uh, let's see, I think I told you the rich espresso. I think that's it. I have a canvas that I was I did in a class just showing people how to swipe. So this is not a painting I want to keep. So I'm going to set it right down here in this beautiful puddle of paints. And I'm going to do me a dirty pour over it. So I'm going to start with the little black on the bottom. The black does not have OGX in it, but all the other colors are mixed. One to one with Floetrol. No water added, and then a drop of OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum in each cup, one drop in each cup, not a full pump, just a drop. And the cup, if it has three ounces, six ounces, it doesn't matter. I just put one drop in, it goes a long way. So I am going to do a dirty pour. Let's see, I think I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the deep turquoise. The pale turquoise, just a little. I'm going to put some of this quinacridone violet, which is just a little bit. There's not a lot left in there. I'm going to do Rich Espresso, this deep violet color, purple, dioxazine purple, the blue, copper, and brass. I'll put a little of the pale gold, but not a lot. Maybe one little squirt of black again. And when you flip a cup, I take a push pin and poke a few holes. That releases the air pressure and it releases the paint from the bottom of the cup. And this is the hardest part, is to just let it sit and wait. So I know it's kind of difficult. It's a little bit busy with the stuff underneath on the white canvas, but um, try to ignore that. And we're just going to wait for this to grow a little bit. I'll go ahead and heat it. It won't really change much of anything. It'll pop the bubbles. That's the only reason we do the heat is to pop bubbles. It releases sometimes a few cells, but that's generally it. But I'm going to sit and let it wait a few minutes before I do any tilting.
I think that I will leave it. I'm going to tilt off to this corner a little bit. So I'm going to leave it like this though. So here it is. It's amazing how each one comes out so different from the other. I'm doing one more in the series of my peacock colors. I'm on a roll and I've got the paints mixed up and they're ready to use. So I'm going to keep on going with it. This one is going to be a 12 by 24 inch. So I'm going to just start... I think I'm going to start this pour inside the, the violet cup with a little bit of black. And I'm going to use a little bit of turquoise, I mean purple, and the lighter turquoise, the, I mix this, this turquoise up, it is um, a combination of like a phthalo blue and green and Prussian blue. Throw in a little copper. Some of the Rich Espresso. Get another little shot of black. Bring in that blue. I'll do a little bit of the light gold, but not much. I want more purple. Copper. Finish out with the brass. So it's a 12 by 24 canvas. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get it covered, but I'm not putting a wet base down, I don't believe. And I may need to put a, a base on it to help it a little bit. I'm not sure. So I'll just finish out some of my colors. filling in a few gaps before I do any tilting. And I don't want a blob of blue, so I'm trying to just throw in some extra. I'll go ahead and heat it just to pop any air bubbles, but not really expecting it to do anything else with the heat. So all of the colors do have silicone in it except for black, or they have OGX in it, a drop of OGX. The paint mixture is one to one with Floetrol. And there's not really any extra water added. It doesn't really need it. I'm going to go over these solid colors a little bit just to ensure that we don't have the solid colors 
taken over the painting. So I'm trying to kind of tilt this fast. Now I'm going to bring it back over those solid colors too. Now I'm going to get this corner taken care of. And I know you can't see a lot of the painting while I'm doing this tilting because I'm trying to do it quickly, but I'll show you just in one second. I'm liking it though. Okay, so now I want to go back and tilt over some of that blue area there. Or, what I can do, instead of trying to keep tilting, I'm not crazy about that right there. So I'm going to put a little um, actually I'll no, I want to save some of this copper. So what I'm going to do is maybe a bathroom cup, copper, some of this turquoise, just a little, a little squirt of black, this lighter turquoise, purple, Do the uh, rich espresso and the brass. I'll stick my palette knife through it a little bit to swish. So I'm going to kind of just uh, So that, actually I want to put a little of this turquoise and blue through here just a little bit to tone that down. And Just letting that area kind of shift. So I like that better because there's less of that blue.
So I just get rid of a few shapes that I don't care for. Incorporate a little bit more gold. Okay, I think I'm done. This is, you know, a little, I don't know, maybe I can run a, uh, I can run just a little bit of a ribbon through it. Sometimes you just don't know what to do or whether to leave it, but um, sometimes I just can't Leave it. <laughs> so hopefully I can tilt this a little bit. brings out the blue a little more which is okay but there's some areas that are kind of harsh so I'm just going to kind of soften then for this I'm going to take my skewer and just very slightly drag a little of the edges here and there. So I really it's interesting. I may not have, should have fooled with this area, but I did. It's done. But I think I like it. So there it is. I'll lift a little copper from the table here on the edge and add that in. started smoking. Okay. I think I'm done. I am going to stick a little gold on this corner. 
and call it complete. So I have me a nice little peacock colored series of paintings here. These jewel tones are just to die for and that little bit of shimmer of the vintage brass that's intermixed and the copper makes the whole thing feel metallic even though the purples and turquoises are not metallic. Uh, it all feels metallic so it's really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below the video and make sure to click on the bell in the bottom right if, if you subscribe and you want to get notifications when I post new videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.